We actually finished shooting the video in my closet, but you guys didn't see the real mess. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe you just fucking did that! <laughs> oh my god, it is on! I'm gonna prank you! I'm gonna prank you! Welcome to my closet! <laughs> You guys asked for a house tour right now. I can only do a closet tour because there's too much construction going on, but you guys can come on in. I'm a huge fan of crazy shades. I just love things that like scream creative. Like somebody who was making these was literally like an insane person. They were maybe like they were felt an emotion and they wanted to put that into a product or an accessory. I love it. When I take Noor to school, I like to wear like the craziest pair of shades and then I'll go in like this, like, mm-hmm. I feel very serious when I do that. These are kind of cool. These are Alexander Vautier. I love Vautier. I'm a huge Vautier fan. I love like retro looking shades. Like these are like the OG kind of shades. And then I also love these, which kind of like have like that retro print on them, which is like very now, but also kind of cool. These look so 90s to me. Like, do you guys remember Lil' Kim? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, these are really cool too. Chris bought me these and like surprised me. I love these, but they're so uncomfortable to wear. And one of the chains is like wonky, so I don't really wear it. But whenever I take a picture, I like hold it up and I do this. <laughs> I had my nose done, so I can't wear shades that heavy. My nose, I'm pretty sure will break. Do you guys remember these too? Like back in the day when Gucci first started like doing their dope shit. This is so cool. I love these. I actually wore these so much. All the stones fell off of it. And then Gucci had to replace them for me. I love the reflection. You don't know if I'm smiling at you. You don't know if I'm staring at you. Can you see me? No, you don't know. Exactly. These are the H&M collection with Anna De La Russo. I actually like legit love fashion. I don't think people know how much I love fashion. These are Anna Corinne Carlson and I love her shades. It's always a vibe. I feel like in a Versace campaign and I'm like done tell Versace and I'm like posing. Ciao bella, bellissima, molto bella, grazie mille. I know, I know very much Italian, obviously. I love shades. I really love shades. I'm definitely a sunglass person. Like, yes. And I actually have these in orange as well. And I just think these are so dope. I'm a collector. In fact, I might be a little bit of a hoarder. I think I have issues, but it's fine. Ooh, I need to move on. I'm gonna spend too long on sunglasses. We need to move on. Oh, look at these two. It's normal for things to fall in here because it's everything is like cluttered. It's totally normal. Plus I'm clumsy. I mean, you guys love these, right? This is like totally the 90s. These are like a little bit of an expensive pair, but this was really cheap. These are not expensive, they're like 70 bucks. Not bad. Okay, I'm getting a kick. I need to keep moving. I need to keep moving. All right, so I definitely love boots. I'm a boot person. Wait, is that a lie? I don't really wear boots, but I do love them. I love them and I collect them. How amazing. Amazing are these. These are beautiful. These are the Saint Laurent. These are really, really gorgeous. I also, I like a lot of like these limited edition shoes. This is the Jimmy Choo and Off-White collab. I really love these. These were amazing. I wore them once. Oh, I forgot about these. I don't know, I could try these on for you guys if you want. I don't know if I could get them up. I never wore these. This is the first time. Oh my God, they're so hard to put on. There's a reason why I never wore them. GA. <laughs> How are we gonna get out? What is the method that you use? Do I, do I like hop up and then you pull them up? Ah! But cramp! I need a banana! How do we do this? Wait, so I sit down? Okay. We shouldn't have done this. I'm so sorry. This is a bad idea. You gotta like pull it. Damn it. You know, I think we should just take them off. Some things you don't wear. You just buy them for the artistic value of them. Also, Stella Rum made some bomb shades too, like these. Okay, we're, we're done with shades, right? We're done with shades. Did you say we were, were we done with shades? Honestly, guys, if you guys want a sunglass video, I can do a dope one on how to find the right shades for you too. These are like a cool nerd. Again, cool nerd. That's what cool nerds do. So I actually bought these in Korea. I love good shades. All right, so I'm gonna move on. Hopefully we will leave this section and we won't come back to it. For bags, like now, right now, what I'm obsessed with is like little tiny ornate weird bags that you can't really fit a lot of things in. I'm a big collector of like Chanel vintage bags. One, I couldn't afford them when they all came out. And so I just started buying all of them that were available. So like a lot of weird ones, like we all, we all remember this one, which is so beautiful. I have it in the clear and the black, but I also love like these little jewel cases as well. I love this one. It has like crystals all over it. Actually, my sister got me this for my birthday last year. I also love like this one right here. This is like all crystal. I just love these little like little trinkets. Like you clearly can't fit anything in there except for like a chapstick and maybe a credit card. My husband actually has a purse that he carries with him. So most of time I just put like a lip liner in here and then my husband carries my stuff in his purse. So and thank God that he has a purse. 
I do love like limited edition, like limited edition things like get me really excited. I feel like the sales people in all these stores know as soon as they say limited edition, I'm gonna buy it. All these little lunchbox bags, like I am obsessed with them, especially the really tiny ones. Like I love them. So this is definitely not all my bags. Maybe I have a bit of a problem for sure. Um, I get a little moody and sometimes when I'm moody, going to the store can make you feel a little bit better. It doesn't matter what store it is. I'm not saying you should do that. Like I'm not condoning it, but this is like what's happened to me. Some of these pieces are like really, really special. Like this one actually, I was one of the first people in the world to be able to get this bag way before Louis Vuitton even posted on social media. So they like, they sold it to me and be like, but you can't post it. I definitely love a little flavor in my bags. And vintage bags, like I think are just like so dope. Yeah, this is a cool briefcase that you know, you wear when you go to the office. I have so many PVC bags. PVC is like my jam. The only thing is like, you can't really put too many private things in them, but I always carry PVC bags all the time. This bag right here is actually from the 90s, which I like love. I bought this online. I thought it was like, so cute. I got the blue one as well, which looks like it's been through a lot right now. It kind of has. I definitely love like these little Louis Vuitton bags as well. Like, they, they actually created some of the weirdest shapes. Like I just love this. And this was like actually really good to carry, but it's like one of those bags you put here. So you have to do like the dead fish all the time. You're like, hey. So that kind of sucks, but like, you know, you get used to it. Look how cute that is. I feel like Cher from like Clueless. Depending on the bag, you have like a different pose. Like this one is like, you kind of like could do this or you could do this, but you have to keep your elbow up. So like if you don't have strong biceps, this could be a problem. I have very strong biceps, so I can carry it. Now I'm gonna take you guys on to shoes because shoes! What girl does not love good shoes? They have to be really beautiful, but really fashionable, but they have to be comfortable. It's like a dilemma. It's like, do you want something really fashionable, really amazing, or do you want to be comfortable? I am obsessed with, I think I told you guys before, Alexander Fautier, you are amazing. I haven't worn these before, so I can kind of air kiss them, that's fine. Ooh, these are really dope. These are like, wow, take them back, wow. I love these. Again, I haven't worn these either. Kind of annoying, I want to start wearing shoes. See, comfort is the thing for me. So a lot of times I'm wearing shoes like this. <laughs> and I'm not very flexible. These are really dope. These are the Yeezys, the reflective ones. I don't know if you guys can tell if they're reflective or not. Also a good classic pair of Chanel's because these are like, for me, like coming in, it's a like classic chicness. These are like really fucking beautiful. This brand is amazing. Renee Calvilla. You make beautiful shoes, to be honest. You know what I like about her? You know what I like about you, Renee? You put glitter on the bottom. That's a really nice thought. That shows how much detail you do. Renee, you're amazing. Renee's actually Oh. <laughs> Renee, you're a man. Oh, I, I talked to a Renee once that was a man. I, I love names like that, like Ashley. And anyways. <laughs> also, these are like those crystals that are like the AB crystals. Oh my God, he's mixed it up with regular crystals. Oh my God, that's why they blink so much. You can see he like has like bronze crystals and he's mixed it with AB crystals that have been like brushed. Like brilliant, I love stuff like that. I have not worn these yet. One of my favorite shoes, these Gianvi Tarasi, I've worn these quite a bit. I love this little point. I just think it's like such a dope shoe. And I know Rihanna just recently, I think she was inspired by as well. It's in her collection as well. This is like so dope. Saint Laurent also did it as well. So a few designers have been doing this. I don't know who did it first, I have no idea. It's fierce with a little bit of sexiness and I love that. Look how dope these shoes are. I need to wear these. I need to like just deal with the discomfort of wearing heels. I am kind of into like crystallized shoes right now. You can see these I just recently got from Gianvi Tarasi as well. Like where are we going? I wanna know. We're going to a disco party or we're going to McDonald's. I don't know, either place, they're really, really dope. I also love these like knife shoes, I think that's what they're called. I have a matching skirt. These are so cool. These are like really, really amazing. I love them. Balenciaga, I think they make really dope shoes. Sometimes the knife shoes though can make your feet look really big. I don't love the way they make your feet look, but they're also really cute though. So. We have more bags. Look how cute these bags are. And then this is like, look at this. I actually bought this and when I bought it, Neon wasn't in, it was like a few years before. And I was like, that bag is so hideous. It's like way too bright. It's like, why did they mix patent leather with neon? But now now it's dope. So sometimes you just gotta like trust your instincts and you know, figure that it might come in. Also this, oh, this vanity case from Chanel. This is like the details. Like I love the little details. I'm all about the details. I really love it because like the heart mirror. It's shit like this that makes me so happy. I also love these bags from the Louis Vuitton collection. I think Louis Vuitton does the best collaboration. You can see here, I have a lot of iridescence, a lot of different types of materials. I'm a real big fan of like weird stuff. Like I love things that again, feel artistic, feel creative, feel fun. Oh my God, you guys, hopefully you guys remember this piece. This is from Gucci two, three years ago. This piece like never went out of style. It's really stretchy as well. So it's like just one of the most amazing pieces that you could like invest in. And I love pieces like that. I love pieces like that stay. Cause again, it's not just about a trend. It's about like somebody's creative vision. Alexander Vautier as well, like again, love 
love his stuff. These like rhinestone tops, like I'm all about them. Love them and they're really comfortable too, which is amazing. I also love like suit jackets. Like I'm obsessed with wearing suits. A suit jacket with a mini skirt. That is like my thing. That's what I wear when I want to be like a boss and I want to be like serious. So I have it in like all kinds of prints as well and materials. You can see this. And this is how she wants me to wear it. Oh, this is also, you can see this material as well. Oh, God. This is Paco Rabanne and legit, these are shorts, but I've been looking for this material for like a while. This is a really dope. I actually have the skirt for this too. So cool, so bossy. Love this, this is so amazing. This is like kind of like, again, boss bitch, but I'm kind of nice. This is like the nice CEO. So this is like the fashionable CEO. And this is boss bitch, I'm here to make some million dollar deals. CEO. You got different vibes for different days, you know what I mean? This area here has some really beautiful dresses, like some very important dresses to me as well. Like this Oscar de la Renta that we wore for um, the Global Gift Gala. Everybody really loved this when I wore it. It was really, really beautiful. This Marquesa, which was beautiful, we wore for our rose gold photo shoot. Chen Man was a photographer then, it was really beautiful. And then I have this other Marquesa, which was like my first designer dress that I ever bought. Oh. The problem is once you open this room, you might get like sucked into it. It's like a vortex. This Marquesa, which is like one of my favorite dresses. So beautiful, so elegant. There's like so many dresses in here. Like it's crazy. We're gonna try to close this up. Ugh. Not everyone can close it. Okay, moving on. These bags here have a little bit of flavor to them. A lot of these are Judith Lieber bags and I feel her bags are so cute. This one is like, it has two sides to them. I feel like that's me. This is like when you're like nervous that you're like smiling cause like everything's okay. And this one over here is just like, ah! crazy. This is me at home, this is me in the office. This one here is a really special Matryoshka Chris got me. Really cute. She, this is actually a very limited, very special bag. Judith Lieber makes some like bomb, really cute, really artistic. I feel like these are like jewels. They're not just bags. Honestly, personally, I would never carry these. This is really cool. I got at the Louis Vuitton fashion show. I went to it last year in the spring and then I saw this and I like loved it on the runway, so I got it. This is like really dope Chanel bag that just recently came out. I think like last season. It's just so cool. Ashley Longshore made these. These are really cute, like little Judith Lieber lipstick. She did a collaboration with them. Oh, I do have some fragrances as well. A lot of these are very niche. I'm a big niche fragrance person, so I love Byredo. I found these in the Plaza in New York, which is just like a really cute fragrance. I love to mix my fragrances, so I definitely like spray and mix and then like vanilla. This is like my favorite. I think this is like my third bottle that I've gone through. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. I wish you could smell that through the camera, but you guys smell it, right? I do like sneakers. I will tell you the Chanel sneakers that I love so much. Most of them are too narrow for me. So sometimes I find them a little uncomfortable, but I still love them. They're so cute. I love a lot of color. Like I'm really into like bright, like really outrageous kind of sneakers. I bought these Stella McCartney ones for myself, but I actually meant to get them for Nora. And I love that they're iridescent. They're really fun. They're really cool. Nora and I actually always buy the same collection of sneakers. So like these really cute ones that Chanel came out with the pastel ones. Chris actually surprised us and he bought them for me and for Nora, which was really, really, really sweet. Me and Nora and Chris all have these. Like we all match. And so we like to wear these to the airport. These are really comfortable. So we have more sneakers, um, but we couldn't put them all out here. Right now I'm in the process of moving houses and it's almost, we're almost done. We've been designing the last house for two years and building it and we're finally gonna be moving in, hopefully at the end of this year. I have like really cool hat boxes. I'm a huge fan. They're very chic. You feel very fabulous, very timeless, very like, you know, like retro as well. And of course, like you need like dope hats for the hat box. So I definitely have an insane collection of hats. I have like a lot of like sometimes like fun ones like this. Like this for me is like so cool. It's like so 90s, so cool. I do a lot of these. I don't know why I do so many of these. This is like my favorite kind of hat. I also have some of these berets as well. Like I love these berets. You could do this and be like French, be cute. They're just cool. I feel like hats like, you know, they kind of like give you a vibe. I love this one as well. Like netting was like so dope last year. We did it on our nude palette. It's very chic. I love these like boss mafioso kind of hats too. Like I love these. I feel like I'm gonna go solve crime or something. I love these hats. Hats are so good. This one I just recently got. It's so cool. This is from Eugenia Kim, which is like a really cool beach hat. This one is really cool. This is a recent, I think this is Chanel. This is really cool as well too. Really dope. They give you a vibe. They like totally complete a look and I love that. I'm not sure about this one. Like when am I actually gonna tie this like this and do this? When am I actually gonna do this? 
Oh, it's kind of cute. Maybe I can pick flowers and be like, and have like a basket and then have them here. So now I look like little Bo Peep. Has lost her sheep. We've saved the best for last. So these are some really dope pieces. Like this, for instance, is a Nicholas Gibran dress that we wore for resting boss face. He made it for me. He's an amazing designer. He's so beautiful. He's so wonderful. This is a runway pit piece from Christian Dior. It's just a little short for my taste, but I will get eventually to wearing it at some appropriate place. This is a really cool piece too. This is um, this is from Gucci. And I talked Jihei to let me into wearing this for a Selfridges PA, which she was like, you look like you're going skiing. And then I was like, no, I want to be loud. And then I was loud. And then all the comments were like, you look like you're going skiing. Always trust your stylist. Right, Jihei? Yeah. <laughs> but it is really dope. And I know Lena Del Rey just recently wore it in the newest Gucci ad. It was so dope. This is a really dope piece from Balmain. And I don't usually love one shoulders, but because I love symmetry, this actually was really, really pretty and it fit really nicely as well. This is such a dope piece from Chanel. It's just like this weird blouse and it's full of iridescence. Oh my God, this is a really beautiful Naeem Khan dress. I love Naeem Khan. I love Balmain. Balmain fits curvy women. So if you're a curvy woman and you need a lot of stretch, Balmain is like that brand that, you know, just a lot of curvy women like. This is so amazing. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Like the detail too and the shape and everything is so nice. Oh my God, these are both so heavy. <sighs> this is a runway piece from Prada that like literally I'm so obsessed with. <laughs> we actually did wear this. I wore it to do a PA in Germany. It was really amazing. We had like 10,000 people show up and I actually couldn't go outside. So it was kind of a bummer. It's a really amazing dress. I love this so much. It's just such a piece of art. Again, like it was right when neon was just about to take off. Look at the shape, look at the silhouette, look at the plexi, look at the tone. This is of course the back of it. So let me turn around so you guys can see the front. Looks the same, but it's so beautiful. Hey, look at that sound. It's so heavy, so I'm, I'm gonna put it back up. This Gucci piece is also really amazing. I know Jennifer Lopez wore it. Um, I saw her wearing it. I didn't see her in person, but I saw a photo of her wearing it. It was so heavy though. It's not really a piece that you travel with. The pants I wore, and they look, they look amazing on butts, but the top is not as flattering, unfortunately. This is a really dope piece that my girl made, Hanouf. Shout out to Hanouf. She made it for the Fashion Bowl um, years ago, actually, but I still feel like it's so dope. She, she has matching jeans as well. And when you turn, it has like this fray. This is also a really amazing custom-made dress. It's a Kuwaiti brand called Le Bourgeoisie. It's hard to say. Le Bourgeoisie. I'm not French. It's very hard to say. Slice it here. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Cut. You want to go? You want to finish? Okay, guys. So I have to hang out with Noor. We're going to go get dressed up. So I'm sorry, guys. You got to go. You guys have to go. So this is actually my other closet, which is kind of a mess. And Jihei is going to kill me. This is where everything else doesn't fit. Actually, this isn't even everything else. But you can see there's a lot of outfits here. There's a lot of stuff in here. And this is kind of like the way things right now are organized until I move. It's kind of crazy. In my job and what I do, I have to change my outfits all the time. So... You know, like sometimes I can wear this and then I can use it in a campaign and then I need to figure out exactly where else I'm going to do it. It's kind of crazy, but it is somehow organized and somehow everything kind of has its place. We need more space. We'll get more space, hopefully.